Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and we're going to do a little bit of chemistry today. In an earlier video, you know, last year, we talked about the difference between baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and washing soda, sodium carbonate, and, and the differences they, they have in, uh, you know, soap making and such. And I've been noticing that it's getting harder and harder to find things like sodium carbonate in the stores. I think it's because less and less people um, are... are using it right so today's going to show you how to make washing soda from baking soda okay now in the article that accompanies this on my website it'll tell you a little bit more about the chemistry but i just want you to notice that that's white and pretty fine powder okay and all we're going to do is we're going to heat it up. I've got it on high. Funny thing is, once this gets to about 130 degrees or so, the heat starts having a chemical, um, or starts causing a chemical reaction in which the washing soda gives off some of its water vapor and carbon dioxide and turns into... Um, don't worry, the wife just changed the things out, and I think they're smoking up a little bit. Um, it turns the washing uh, or the baking soda into washing soda. Now, as it does this, the, one of the byproducts is going to be steam and carbon dioxide. We want to make sure that you don't do 200 pounds of this at a time, or that you just basically stick your face over the top of this, because we don't want you to get overcome with carbon dioxide um, poisoning. Well, not poisoning, but it'll displace the oxygen and make you pass out. Okay? You could do this in the oven. It's probably easier in the oven. But we're going to do it on this tabletop, the stovetop here, so you can see what's going on. There we go. See it's starting to give off a little bit of uh, steam. There you go. See how the steam is boiling out of it? That's water vapor and uh, carbon dioxide. We've got a window open so I can keep a good oxygen exchange. I don't know if that's necessary, but you want to be careful that you don't uh, suffocate yourself on accident. Even though Carbon dioxide, or carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. I learned that from uh, Inconsistent Truth this weekend. Okay, so we've been doing this, I don't know, about 40 minutes or so. And basically what you want to do, remember in the beginning when we, we stirred a little bit and you get the little steam geysers? You want to keep doing this until there's no more steam geysers and all the CO2 has been uh, pulled out. Baking this is probably the way to go, um, and, and maybe 45 minutes or so in an oven, a 300 degree oven, you know, but, but overcooking really is not going to be an issue. So if you want to bake it for a couple hours, that's fine. Um, like I said, it's, the texture is a lot different. See how in the beginning when we did it and it stuck to the spoon, and now it's not. It's a lot grainier, um, a little darker. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now you're going to do is just put it in an airtight container. I'm going to let it cool a little bit and I'm going to put it in this mason jar. And that's how we're going to store it. But that's all there is to it. How to turn uh, sodium bicarbonate into sodium carbonate for uh, soap purposes. Till next time, you can always get us online www.tngun.com.